Hey, number four Wednesday students, join me as I learn how to count, solve, and enjoy math. This is CJ Joel, and welcome to our class. Conducting research will disclose the facts or points of view. A helpful tool is the statistics gathered from the subjects. Thus, analyzing and interpreting the results will be helpful for advancement. For today's session, we will talk about measures of position. As you learn about them, we will answer these two questions. First, what are the measures of position? Second, what are the things to remember in finding the measures of position? Are you ready, students? Come on and let us begin our number four journey. Measures of position give us a way to see where a certain data point or values falls in a sample or distribution. The most common measures of position are quartiles, deciles, and percentiles. Quartiles are score points which divide the data set into four equal parts and divides data into three points, lower quartile, median, and upper quartile. The first quartile, Q1, or the lower quartile, is the value that separates the lower 25% from the larger 75% of the scores. The second quartile is the median. Recall that the median is the middle value of a set of data when the values are arranged in ascending or descending order. The median is denoted by the symbol X tilde. The third quartile, Q3, or the upper quartile, is the value that separates the lower 75% from the larger 25% of the scores. Let's try this example. The following are the ages of 15 grade 10 students who will attend the moving up ceremony. To get the quantiles, it is advised to construct a rank data set. Rank the data set from lowest to highest. To get the lower quartile, get 25% of n. That is, q sub 1 is equal to 1 fourth times n equals 0 0.25 times n. That is equal to 0 0.25 times 15. And the answer is 3.75. Round up 3.75 to the next integer, which is 4. Therefore, the first quartile is the fourth value. Thus, Q1 is equal to 15. There are 25% of the data set below 15 years old and 75% are above it. The second quartile is the median, so Q2 is equal to 16. To get the upper quartile, get 75% of n. That is, q sub 3 is equal to 3 fourths times n equals 0 0.75 times n. That is equal to 0 0.75 times 15. And the answer is 11.25. Since 11.25 is not an integer, round up to the next integer which is 12. The third quartile is the 12th value, thus, Q3 is equal to 16. There are 75% of the data set below 16 years old and 25% are above it. Let's talk about deciles next. Deciles are score points that divide the data set into 10 equal parts. There are 9 deciles. These are D1, D2, D3, and so on until D9. Likewise, D cell 1, D1, means 10% of the data set falls less than or equal to the first decel and 90% is above it. Decel 9, D9 means 90% of the data set falls below the ninth decile and 10% is above it and true to the other decils. Thus, Going back to the problem on the ages of grade 10 students, let's determine the score point that gives the highest 10%. The highest 10% is also called the 9th decile. Round up 13.5 to the next integer, 
which is 14. Therefore, the ninth decile is the 14th value. Thus, D9 is equal to 17. There are 90% of the data set below 17 and 10% are above it. From the arranged age of the grade 10 students, 14, 14, 15, 15, 15, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 17, 17, 17. And let's not forget about percentiles. Percentiles are score points which divide the data set into 100 equal parts. There are 99% percentiles. These are P1, P2, P3, so on until P99. Similarly, like the quartiles and deciles, for instance, P47 means 47% of the scores are less than or equal to P47 and 53% is above it, and so on. Let's try this example. Determine the lowest 80% in the distribution of mathematics ratings in a grade 10 class. The lowest 80% is P80. It is also equal to D8. Round up 7.2 to the nearest integer, which is 8. Thus, P80 is the 8th value. From the ranked data, 63 divides the distribution into two parts, the lowest 80% from the highest 20%. Now, let's try to answer these questions. Dado keeps the record of Siemens remittances. Listed below are the remittances of a Siemens for the first three quarters of 2017. Let's find the lower quartile, median, and upper quartile. To get the quantiles, it is advised to construct a ranked dataset. Rank the dataset from lowest to highest. To get the lower quartile, get 25% of n. That is, q sub 1 is equal to 1 fourth times n equals 0 0.25 times n. That is equal to 0 0.25 times 11. And the answer is 2.75. Round up 2.75 to the next integer, which is 3. Therefore, the first quartile is the third value. Thus, Q1 is equal to 34,000 pesos. There are 25% of the data set below 34,000 pesos and 75% are above it. The second quartile is the median, so Q2 is equal to 50,000 pesos. To get the upper quartile, get 75% of n. That is, q sub 3 is equal to 3 fourths times n equals 0 0.75 times n. That is equal to 0 0.75 times 11. And the answer is 8.25. Since 8.25 is not an integer, round up to the next integer which is 9. The third quartile is the ninth value. Thus, Q3 is equal to 63,000 pesos. There are 75% of the data set below 63,000 pesos and 25% are above it. Using the same problem as earlier, can you determine the seventh decile? Round up 7.7 .7 to the next integer, which is 8. Therefore, the 7th D cell is the 8th value. Thus, D7 is equal to 59,000 pesos. There are 70% of the data set below 59,000 pesos and 30% are above it. Let us also find the lowest 60% from the remittances earlier. Round up 6.6 .6 to the nearest integer, which is 7. Thus, P60 is the 7th value. 54,000 pesos divides the distribution into two parts, the lowest 60% from the highest 40%. Measures of position give us a way to see where a certain data point or value falls in a sample or distribution. 
The most common measures of position are quartiles, deciles, and percentiles. Quartiles are score points which divide the data set into four equal parts and divides data into three points, lower quartile, median, and upper quartile. Deciles are score points which divide the data set into ten equal parts. There are nine deciles. These are D1, D2, D3, up to D9. Last but not the least, percentiles are score points which divide the data set into 100 equal parts. There are 99% percent percentiles. These are P1, P2, P3, up to P99. You're fantastic! I hope you learned a lot about measures of position today. If you did, Click thumbs up and share this video to help your learners like you to count, solve, and enjoy math. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Again, this is Teacher Jirel and see you on our next Long Full Wednesday.